Okay, in this experiment, I'm gonna use some wax paper. Um, I'm also gonna use uh, water again. So we're just gonna use plain old water. And I'm gonna use that little piece of paper towel. I'm gonna to fold up for a dropper. I have a couple of toothpicks and I've got some soap that I put in this dish that I'm going to dip the toothpick in to do the experiment. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to put one drop of water right here. Put another drop next to it. And another drop over here. Okay, if you notice those drops of water are beaded up pretty well because I put them on the wax paper. And now I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm just gonna go ahead and touch the drop. And if you notice, not too awfully much happens when I touch the drop. And next, I'm gonna take this toothpick and I'm gonna go ahead, I got some uh, soap here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the toothpick in some soap. And then I'm gonna go back and touch the drop again. So I'm gonna touch this drop with the toothpick that has soap in it. And if you notice, the drop kind of flattens out right there. And I'm able to start to kind of like drag this drop around and spread it around. Um, again, the side with no soap doesn't really seem to do anything. You can kind of drag, try to drag that drop around. It doesn't really uh, drag it too awfully much. But when I turn around and use the side that has the soap on it, and I touch it, if you notice the drop kind of totally flattened out. Uh, one more drop over here. Again, if I go ahead and I touch it, it just kind of wets out totally. Um, I'm going to repeat that with some blue food coloring so you guys can see it a little better. So this time I'm going to use some drops with um, blue food coloring in them. Mostly so that you guys can just kind of see it a little bit better than the, um, just the plain. Let's see if I can get one more drop on here. There we go. Um, and again, if I take a toothpick and I just go ahead and touch the drop, not much actually happens to these drops when I touch them with the toothpick. But if I take that same toothpick and this time I'm going to go ahead and put it in the soap. And then I'm going to go ahead and touch that drop again. If you notice, it kind of wets out. And again, I'm going to put that in the soap and touch that drop. And it kind of wets out. Same sort of thing. If I touch it with the soap, it'll wet out. Just to kind of repeat that for you. When the toothpick has no soap on it, I can actually touch the drop and pull it away and it doesn't really do anything. I touch the drop and pull it away. It doesn't really do anything. Why is that? Can you explain what the soap does to the surface tension of the water? 